Hey guys, welcome back to this GrandMA3 tutorial series. Today we're going to look at the selection grid and how it works with group selections. For those that came from GrandMA2, you'll remember that in order to make group selections that were in specific order, you would either have to type in all the fixture IDs in the order you want them, or you would have to select them in order from a layout view. Many of the same principles still apply in MA3, but the selection grid can give you a better visual of your selection order, as well as the opportunity to place fixtures on a three-dimensional grid for more advanced effects and phaser options, which we'll get to in another video. For those learning MA3 with no prior MA experience, selection order is everything when it comes to applying effects and phasers. For example, if you want a symmetrical effect, you have to make a symmetrical selection. The selection grid is always working in the background, so creating your groups in specific order with the selection grid is very important. We'll start by opening a selection grid. You can find it by clicking on an open space, then under the common tab, click on selection grid. Now that we have a selection grid open, we can see that it is an X, Y, and Z grid. If you left click and hold over the grid window, you can orbit around the three dimensional space. If you right click and hold, you can move around the X and Y axes. If you scroll up or down on your mouse, you can zoom in and out along the Z axis. Let's recenter the view by clicking the View Auto Scroll in the upper right corner of the selection grid window. Now let's talk about what this blue square is. When you are making fixture selections and want to place fixtures in specific locations on the selection grid, the first selected fixture will always start wherever the blue square is. To demonstrate, I'll select the first eight spot fixtures in my fixture sheet. We can see that they automatically aligned themselves on the x-axis in the order I selected them. We can also see that the blue square has moved to the next available grid square on the x-axis. Let's throw this as a group and clear our selection. What if I want my spot fixtures aligned across both the x and y axes? There are different ways we can do this. The first method is to select four of our fixtures then click on the first grid square of the next row down. The next selection of fixtures will begin at that selected grid square. Another method is to call a selection grid of squares in the command line. We can either type in our selection in the command line, or we can use the command section. To access the grid key, you either have to press and hold the MA key under the X keys on your console, or for on PC users using the command section window, left click and hold the MA button under the X keys, drag away, and then release. We can now see that the third X key becomes the grid key. After pressing the grid key, console users can release the MA button, and on PC users can click the MA button again to release the hold. I know that I want a 3x4 grid so that all 12 of my spot fixtures are incorporated in this selection, so entering this grid selection will work as follows. The start of my grid selection will be at 0, 0, representing position 0 on the x-axis and position 0 on the y-axis. The end of my grid selection will be at 3, 2, representing position 3 on the x-axis and position 2 on the y-axis. Let's enter this into the command line using the command section. Since grid is already selected, I'm going to enter 0 slash 0 through 3 slash 2, and then press please. With this grid selection, any fixture selection I make will only be placed in the grid squares I have chosen, represented by the darker blue squares, and the first fixture will start where the lighter blue square is. If I possibly miss fixtures when I make my fixture selection, I can continue selecting them one by one or in groups to continue filling my grid selection. We'll store this as a group and clear our selection. Now whenever we call that group, the selection grid will auto-populate with the fixture selection that we created. Let's clear our selection one last time, and always remember to save our show file.